Welcome to Chord Buddies GarageBand Composition Tutorial. I'm going to walk you through just an example of how you might create a simple accompaniment to go with a G major Chord Buddy song. When you open your GarageBand on your iPad, go straight to Create a New Song and click on Smart Drums. I always like to start with a drum beat. It just seems to be a good foundation for my sound. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to increase my measures just to make sure I have enough space when I'm recording. The next thing is click on the wrench and I'm going to change a few things. I'd like my tempo to be right around 85 and I'm going to make sure that my key signature matches G major which is what the chord buddy is in. So now I'm ready, I'm in 4-4 time and I'm ready to try creating my song. The iPad system has some great options for different drum beats. So I'm going to click over on the side and for today I've decided I'd like a classic studio kit sound. By just clicking on the dice I get an automatic drum beat. And I can move things around and change them as I like. Once you find a sound that you like, you're going to go ahead and click record. Now I'm going to turn off my metronome so I don't get a clicking sound along with my recording. I'm planning to leave one measure for an introduction and then I will just let it run and record um, about 13 measures of music. Here we go. Instead of letting it continue, I, I'm going to show you a shortcut. Once you find, um, once you've recorded the sound that you want, you can simply copy and paste it and then extend it as far um, as you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back to right around here. And now I have my drum beat. The next thing that I personally would like to add is a piano accompaniment. So I'm going to click on the word instruments and I'm going to find smart piano. Here's my smart, smart keyboard. And I'm going to actually leave it on grand piano for today. I'm going to figure out which kind of accompaniment sound I want. So if I click to the one, here's what I get. If I go to the two, I get this. I click the three. Right. I personally am going to use two for today. I've already pre-decided my chord structure. You would have your students do this as well. And as I record, you're going to get to hear it. But it's G, G, D, D, G, G, C, C, G, G, D, D, G. That's my order for today with one measure of um, introduction just with the drum. Okay, here we go. The next thing you're going to do is find smart bass. I'd like there to be a bass in my composition. I'm going to figure out which kind, what sound I like. Okay, once you find the sound you like, you can go ahead and again, you're going to record the bass. Now, I just want to encourage you to remember to f figure out where the arrow is. If the arrow's at measure 11, it's going to record at 11, so always make sure that it's back at measure 1. So here we go. I can now go back and look at my song and I can see that I've added my bass. It's as simple as that. If I listen to my whole accompaniment track, here's what it sounds like.
and I might decide to have my students play using the quarter strum, they might use the down up strum, or maybe a combination of the two. But the goal here is that students can create a chord structured song that goes along with the G major of the chord buddy and play along with the composition that they've created. So you're gonna have this at the end, you go back to my songs, and you're going to actually be able to export this in a variety of ways. Maybe you're going to put it into iTunes, maybe you're going to um, email it or put it in some other program, but you'll create it as an MP4 and your students can send it to you. They can just perform using it. Or if you'd like, your students can even record themselves straight into this track. I'll show you that last step. So if you want your students to just directly accompany themselves, you're going to go back to instruments and click on the microphone. And now the iPad recognizes that there's going to be a real instrument to record. So they would just hit record, play along, and input their sound here. I hope I have kept this simple enough that you will find great success using it in your own classroom. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me and I will offer you support where I can.